The second edition of Tunisia Hackathon was organized at the headquarters of the IT company Predictix in the capital city Tunis. During 12 hours, 80 data scientists and developers faced real-world engineering problems and applied their skills to solve them. It's a programming competition and we have two of them. One is a, for a data science competition, another one is a development competition. And basically the goal is like, so in each one of them, 40 people kind of competing and uh, trying to build the best program. Organizers said computer science is not just a man's world. In fact, many girls took part in the competition to prove what they are capable of. We actually uh, are focusing on that. We are really interested in having this uh, this uh, equality between uh, genders here in Predictix and uh, we believe that uh, women can do so much if we just like provide them with some confidence. So uh, for us it's really uh, inspiring to see them here with us today. The winners of the Data Science Challenge are students at Subcom, one of the best engineering schools in Tunisia. Brahim Shikhawi belongs to the elite. The engineering student does not view programming as a hard task he rather views problem solving as a pleasant activity. If you think of programming as a chore, then you need to stop being creative. It's all about passion and imagination. One can learn while playing with numbers. Brahim's partner in the hackathon strongly believes in group work. He encourages the IT community to work together on difficult tasks. Working together allows us to view the world from a different perspective. We've won because we've solved the problems as a team. Since 1996, Tunisia built dozens of engineering schools and sent thousands of students to study abroad. Over two decades later, the North African country has a very competent computer science community and engineers are trained on Tunisian soil. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN. Tunis.